When Queensland uh, presented coming up to Keppel Bay, uh, we didn't have too many other options that were coming out of Queensland, so we just uh, committed to it. And uh, through the year, we were really worried about the decision that was made. So, you know, how many boats were we actually going to get, you know, and I was quite worried that we are going to get a very low number, like, you know, in the very low teens. Uh, but then we got a, a good number actually then committing to coming up, so I think we ended up having 24 boats, which is a, a, a good number. And, uh, and quite frankly, the regattas actually turned out very, very well. We've had a good mix of conditions. Uh, the first couple of days were extremely testing. Um, yeah, very testing and there's a lot of boats that uh, couldn't get around the track but we also had a few days where it was very very light and, uh, and, it, and it mixed things up so uh, in all we had you know a, a, I think a, a very very good regatta. We're always going to get a broad spectrum of, uh, of people when they're, and their abilities. Some people come up here just new into Moss. Um, some people have been sailing Moss for a very long time, um, you know, and they, and they come up here not with any expectation to win, uh, but you know to participate and uh, you know see how they go, you know, compared to you know their peers and how they went in previous years. So, you know, Scott. Um, you know, he's, he's one of the best small sailors in the world. Uh, Josh has proved to be the best small sailor in, in, the, in the world when he won the Worlds a couple of years ago. So, you know, you've got those two guys who are right at the top of their game now. So, they've, you know, they, they've duked it out. You know, Dave Lister is by far the fastest guy, um, you know, in certain conditions. Uh, and it's just unfortunate that he hurt himself. Otherwise, he would have been really pushing for that uh, top spot as well. So. Um, you know, on, a, on an Australian level, you know, we play pretty high on the on the world stage, and we and it was proven again out there. So yeah, the struggle thing over the fifth, I was, uh, I was pretty happy and I think I got a third in the last race, so yeah, it's great. Yeah, so yeah, no, it's good. I was, I was, I was happy. Yeah. And now it's about aiming at, uh, at Sorrento for our, uh, for our Australian and, uh, and Moth Worlds in January next year. Getting us out there today and just timing it perfectly and then getting us back in before all this came. But they've done, you know, a fantastic job. It feels good to, to finally win. Finally win the regatta. It's been, I think, three years in a row I've come second. I didn't want to make it a fourth, so it was good to finally uh, to get one. Um, yeah, and a big thanks to Keppel Bay Sailing Club and all the volunteers here who put a, a heap of effort in over the last week to make sure we can go sailing. Concluding the 76 Australian Moth Championships, uh, congratulations to Scott Babbage for a, uh, another win, second in a row, and uh, runner-up uh, Josh McKnight. Uh, we also had Andrew McDougall uh, take out the Masters uh, again, so congratulations to those guys. To the team at uh, Keppel Bay Sailing Club, we've just been uh, yeah, in awe. It's been a very, very, very well-run regatta, both on the on the shore with Paul and his team and Paul and his team on the on the on the start boat and on the rescue boats. It's just been fantastic. So a uh, big thank you, and uh, we look forward to coming back here again one day. Thank you.